Sacktown, what is going on? Sacktown Pete, back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sacramento Kings beat the San Antonio Spurs tonight. Final score from the Golden 1 Center, 121 to 114. The Sacramento Kings play with um, heart and effort tonight. Despite being uh, seven, eight players down without their head coach, Alvin Gentry, the Sacramento Kings played a good basketball game. Despite all that, despite being short staffed, despite being short handed, the Kings won. Just played a good overall basketball game uh, from the moment the tip off in the first half. From uh, the second half, it was raining threes in Sacramento. Uh, Buddy Heald was on fire. Tyrese Halliburton stepped up in a big way with another double double. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's start off with the numbers with the starting five. Uh, Harrison Barnes in 40 minutes tonight. He had 14 points, seven boards, three assists. Uh, Buddy Heald in 40 minutes tonight. He had 29 points, three boards, four assists. Uh, 10 of 18 overall from the field. Uh, seven of nine from downtown. Tyrese Halliburton in 37 minutes, big time. 27 points, four boards, 11 assists, 12 of 19 overall, three of five from downtown. Chemezi Metu in 31 minutes tonight. He had 9.6 boards, one assist. Tristan Thompson started at the five tonight. Rashad Holmes was also out with an eye injury, so he has yet to return to the court. And Tristan Thompson started in his place, and he had eight points, eight boards, one assist, one block. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the bench. Um, Damian Jones in 19 minutes, big time. He had 23 points, eight boards, one assist, nine of 15 overall from the field, two of two from downtown. Wow, two of two from downtown from Damian Jones, three of three from the field from the free throw line, and he had two blocks. Damian Jones, man, um, shout out to you, staying ready, get the credit where it's due, man. Staying ready, being aggressive, being active, and coming big time. For the Sacramento Kings tonight, uh, he was a big part of why the Sacramento Kings even had a big lead and why they won the game tonight because he was big time off the bench and provided the spark that we needed off the bench. So shout out to you, Damian Jones. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going, man. Jemias Ramsey, in nine minutes, he has seven points, one board, one assist. Uh, Robinson, yeah, in three minutes, he has zero points, one board, zero assists. And uh, yeah, Jemias Keda Wardar did not play tonight. So, Doug Christie went about nine players deep tonight, and it worked out. They gave up 114 points, but I'm, I'm cool with that. Despite being shorthanded, he put up 121 points. Buddy Heald balling out tonight. Just a very consistent Buddy Heald game. This might be his best game of the season. Um, I like what I, I like what I saw from Buddy Heald tonight. Um, he was catching the ball, shooting in rhythm. There wasn't that many... Uh, Four shots that he took tonight. And um, I feel like a big uh, part of that is because he got to his spots and uh, Tyrese Halliburton fed him the ball. And uh, Tyrese actually um, had 11 dimes. Eight of those 11 dimes, um, they were actually in the first quarter. But overall, it looked like the team just did a fantastic job of just scoring the basketball you know, tonight. So uh, with that being said... Um, I just am happy with this team's effort, man. This is all I ask for, man. It's just uh, consistency. I ask for consistency. I think we all ask for that, right? So it was great to see the Sacramento Kings team win. Probably one of their most impressive wins of the season um, because of the depleted roster and the short being shorthand uh, without, you know, Davion, De'Aaron, Bagley, TD, um, Rashad Holmes. So, uh, and even without Coach Gentry, uh, this was a really good win. Uh, shout out, to, uh, I'll give credit to Doug Christie and his uh, remaining staff to steering this win tonight. It was great to see that. Great to see Doug Christie um, coach. And since the three games that Doug Christie has to go over for Gentry, uh, the Kings are 2-1. and one. And with this win tonight, they are 13-18. and 18. So, they're still currently in 10th. Uh, they're two games back out of the 8th spot. And, uh... They are in the mix somehow, some way. They're in the hunt still, guys, and which is great news because uh, we're five games below five hundred and we're still in the hunt. That's uh, that's great news. The Western Conference is helping us out in a, in a big, big way this year so far. But but that being said, we got the Golden State Warriors tomorrow uh, evening in San Francisco. It's going to be a tough game. Golden State Warriors are a top three, top two team in the Western Conference right now. Other than the Phoenix Suns, they're probably the second best team in the Western Conference. Um, you can argue the fact that the Utah Jazz are up there as well, which they are. But uh, Golden State's looking good. 
Um, I had a feeling that Clay Thompson would return to tomorrow night's, uh, make his season debut because we haven't seen Clay Thompson play in two years. But the fact that is, uh, there's been reports coming out uh, that he's going to be actually uh, starting and making his debut in January. So it would it would have been cool to see Clay Thompson make his debut tomorrow, but we'll have to wait on that another month or a couple weeks. Uh, but man, uh, Golden State's going to be strong, man. Even when they get Clay Thompson back, how they're going to acclimate him and incorp- incorporate him back in um, is yet to be determined to be seen. But anytime you're a great player, a great shooter like Clay Thompson, uh, it should be cake. It should be easy to get him uh, situated in and play for that Golden State Warriors team. So. Let me know your guys' thoughts on once on the win tonight's win. Um, tomorrow we'll talk about. Uh, obviously, we'll have the post game for the Golden State Warriors, but tomorrow morning we'll also talk about um, some of the head coaches that I have in mind that could potentially uh, become the Sacramento Kings' next head, next head coach. This is no disrespect to Doug Christie or Coach Alvin Gentry, just something that people have asked what my take is and how what who and who are the coaches I would go if the Kings were to go that route to go in a different direction. And, Bringing a coach uh, that they want to take over, have this uh, take over this team and roster, uh, you know, after the season's over, um, we'll see. I mean, I got some names I can think of. I'm lo- I'm going to share that with you guys tomorrow morning. So stay tuned and be on the lookout for that. And like I said, um, Alvin Gentry has as great as much of a chance as these other coaches that I have in mind, and as well as Doug Christie. Doug Christie will probably get some consideration as well. So. It's going to be a really important and interesting video. I highly recommend tuning in. Um, but these names that I have in mind, uh, they I would definitely go with them before I go with Alvin Gentry or even Doug Christie. And that's nothing against these two guys. I just feel like these three names and what they've done for their uh, franchises before they got let go of um, were a really important factor of player development, building up the culture, and... Uh, you know, getting this teams, getting their teams in the playoffs. And I feel like they can do that same, they have the same type of impact and have that same type of feeling here in Sacramento. So, but I'm open. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm open to uh, having Alvin Gentry continue to coach or if it's Doug Christie, uh, we'll see where it goes. I mean, obviously I don't want to think about next season yet because we're still in the middle of this season or we're not even in the middle yet. Cause it's not February yet, but, um, just something to uh, kind of keep an eye out for tomorrow morning, guys. Um, I can't wait to chime in and do that with you, share that with you guys. Um, looking forward to that tomorrow morning. And uh, tomorrow, uh, we we'll see if we get another win. We'll see if it's a loss. It's going to be a tough game, though. You know, you're playing a great Western Conference team in the Golden State Warriors, uh, despite being short staffed and short handed tonight, or for a couple games, and possibly for the foreseeable future. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on tonight's win tonight. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you guys all, man. Thank you so much. I'm very active on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, Sacktown Pete. Uh, I'm really active on Twitter. So you guys will see all my in-game tweets and the tweets I usually just tweet about life. So with that being said, that's going to do it for me for tonight's uh, video, guys. Thank you so much again. Really do appreciate it. You guys take care. God bless. Have a great night. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.